most of us prepare for gate exam keeping two things in mind either to go for a mtech degree or to secure a job in psu however it's a common misconception that only mtech degree can get you a good job many of us even aware of the ms programs in india hesitate to opt for that option in today's video i'll break down the major differences between mtech and ms programs in india and by the end you will have enough information to decide yourself whether ms is the right option for you or not I have also asked some of my friends to share their opinions on MTech versus MS and without any further delay let's get started. Raghu for uh, those of you who don't know can you uh, briefly tell us what's the major difference between MTech and MS especially in IIT this program is purely considered as a mini PhD the reason it says is like like MTech is like completely a course based program where in 2 years you have a rigorous course where you have the MTech project and it will be done but ms on the other hand it is something like you had the course work for first year then you will get into research there are some stories i heard that the student has completed their ms in 1.5 years and sometimes the student takes 3.5 to 4 years also so it depends on the work that you are doing so there is this misconception that only people who do not get good ranks join ms is that true raghu i don't know about how people think today but when i had was like okay iit is means like i have to get top 1000 or 2000 rank to get into at least old iits but uh, it is not the case like uh, you can actually get into iits with, with lower scores also because the criteria to get into iits for uh, ms program is not only your grade score but also if you beat the credentials what project you had done and the interview performances because i personally have seen uh, people who even got uh, less than 500 ranks also uh, did uh, fms in iit madras so that's why i was asking that question if you are new here my name is ajay and we have a telegram channel where i share all the exam related updates on job notifications link will be in description starting with the duration everyone knew that mtech degree is a fixed two year course however ms is a flexible course someone can finish it off in two years someone else can drag it up to three and a half years also it personally depends on you how much efficient you are and how well you are producing the results it all depends on you coming to the admission cycle mtech admissions happens once in a year which is july intake all the iits nits private colleges and government colleges take admissions only in this cycle that means if you want to join mtech you have to join only in the july intake coming to ms degree admissions happens twice in a year july intake and january intake however in january intake only few colleges participate by the time i am recording this video iit kanpur's application portal for winter admissions is still active the last date is 7th november i'll add more details in description make sure to check it out if you are interested in applying for ms program if we consider july admissions almost all the iits like iit madras delhi iisc bangalore iit kanpur offer this ms degree some iits have a different name for this like iit bombay and iit hyderabad which they call it as mtech ra which is again a 3 year program so the conclusion is you can target almost all the top iits if you are really into research next comes the most important factor students generally consider while selecting any college or any course which is placements ragu coming okay. to placements how is the scenario for uh, ms students i know about computer science and electronics students it's really good uh, how about okay. uh, for people who did ms in mechanical or uh, civil engineering so almost all the companies where an mtech student can able to sit and ms student also can sit so there is no difference whether you are an mtech or ms when it comes to the placement point of view all it matters is like how good you are doing the test and like your skills that you can actually project in the interview more than the program like what is the skills that you have uh, at the time of giving interview that is very crucial for cracking the interview let's have a look at placement stats of mtech versus ms i have uh, iit madras placement brochure here as you can see here for electrical engineering for mtech the median salary is 35.5 lakhs and average salary is 30.26 lakhs whereas for ms degree median salary is 23.5 and average salary is 24.43 whatever figures they have mentioned here is cpc 
which is nothing but cost to company. Basically, this CTC contains a lot of components like joining bonus, stocks, medical insurance, etc. Even after removing all those things, you would be drawing pretty good salary. If you look at computer science, the median salary for MTech is 21.5 lakhs and average salary is 26.8 lakhs. Surprisingly, if you look at MS degree, the median salary is 23.3 lakhs, which is more than median salary of MTech and the average salary is also 23.3. Lot of students ask me, is it really worth to spend an additional year for MS degree? Think it this way, if you take a drop year again and if you could not get a good gate rank, you are already wasting one year. So MS is always a good option if you have that research bent of mind and uh, if you do not mind spending one extra year. It will definitely pay you similar returns like an MTech degree. Let's have a look at the coursework for MTech versus MS degree. These are the courses that I have taken during my MTech. I have taken 12 courses in my first two semesters. The third and fourth semester is related to thesis work. Whereas in an MS degree, you would be taking hardly four to five subjects, not more than that. Those subjects would also be recommended by your project guide. Once you're done with these subjects, you would be focusing your entire time on your project or thesis work. Next comes the topic fees and stipend. When we talk about the fees, there is no much difference in the fee structure for MTech versus MS. It would be more or less similar. You would be paying around 40 to 50,000, including hostel per semester. Talking about stipend, MS students have a slight advantage. They might get more amount based on the projects they work on. For MTech, the amount is fixed. It's 12,400. Now comes the most important question, who should opt for this course? It's very evident that if you are really into research, there's no better course than this in India. And the second set of people who are confused about pursuing a PhD degree, it allows you to explore research and decide if it aligns with your long-term goal. So MS can be a great option. Before ending this video, I have a quick announcement for you. If you are preparing for GATE or ESC 2026 or 2027, ACE Academy is launching new long-term batches from November 1 and December 1. They are starting regular batches from 24th Jan and 23rd February. You can use the code MATIC10 to get 10% off on all the courses. I'll add more details in description, you can check it out from there. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Even if you do not do any of these, I still thank you for watching this video till now. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video.